Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Many a True Nerd, and welcome back to Life is Strange, Episode 5, Polarize. Last time, well, a lot of flipping stuff happened. We kind of tried to fiddle with time, and we ended up with the perfect scenario, except, unfortunately, even though we managed to get Jefferson arrested, and Nathan arrested and stuff, the apocalypse still happened, and we apparently just flipping forgot to tell Chloe about it. So then, we made sure we weren't in San Francisco, but that meant Jefferson something, something, something. Yes, stuff happened anyway, but Jefferson has now been arrested. However, the apocalypse is happening, and I'm in Arcadia Bay while it's happening, and I've only got one idea for how to get back in time, because Jefferson's burnt my photographs, and that is to go to Warren and get hold of the selfie that he took back in episode 4 so I can travel back in time to the party. Though, presumably if I do that, Jefferson won't be arrested anymore. I'll have to flipping beat him up third, fourth time? God only knows. Right, let's head onwards through the apocalypse. Let's just go drive through the apocalypse and try and find Warren. Hold on, Max. So, where is Chloe? I don't bloody know. In this reality, she could be anywhere. Tell the truth. Hide the truth. Tell the truth. David, David has earned the right to know the truth. David. Uh, Chloe is... Is dead. Oh, she's already dead. Oh. Wait, of course she is, because I've been captured. Oh, balls. Sorry, I forgot. There's too many timelines. I got confused. Oh, God. But she won't be for long. I can Not fix Chloe. it. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard last night. You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter. Uh oh, is he about to do something silly? David, wait! Oh, I mean, in many ways, this doesn't matter because all of this is going to be in a timeline that's about to be aborted because we're going to travel back to episode four time to try and fix everything. So this kind of doesn't matter. Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe. I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. I feel like, given this timeline's about to be aborted anyway, it barely even matters, but I kind of feel like David suffered enough. I just kind of, I think I might just, I think I'm going to have him not know the truth, unless that's really, really traumatic and tragic, but I'm going to try. So this time, let's see what happens if I hide the truth, which might be kinder, given this timeline's not going to exist anyway. Well, she was pretty stressed out, so um, she went to go. Um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air and use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over this computer. I could have told David the truth. He deserves it. You are gonna fry for this. The only advantage to telling David the truth is... Basically, he murders Jefferson, which means he's going to be in a lot of trouble. If I just don't tell him the truth, Jefferson will... Jefferson, there'll be enough evidence, as he says, to put him away forever, maybe even death penalty. I don't know about the laws are in each state. Putting aside the question of what's right and wrong, I don't even think this time is going to exist for much longer, but just in case, putting aside the question of what's right or wrong, in this situation, Jefferson's going to suffer in either case. He's going to, he's going to get, you know, he's going to get properly punished. There's no way he's getting out of this. 
all I'm doing by lying to David is making sure that David doesn't kill Jefferson. And that means that David doesn't get in trouble himself. So I think that's for the best. Yep, let's go. All right, can we get hold of Warren? Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Have we ever seen Max driving a car in this entire franchise so far? Chloe's always driven her everywhere. I don't even know Max knows how to drive. <laughs> really hope she does. Otherwise, this is going to be one hell of an interesting environment to learn in. Max, don't text and drive at the same time, especially during the apocalypse. Received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. My sympathy is limited. He stuck a syringe in Rachel's neck and killed her with an overdose. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. He gets no sympathy from me. If Nathan survives this week because of my meddling, fine, but I'm not going out of my way to make it happen. So there she is, the storm. And I've got to make it to the diner. How close am I? I don't recognise the street I'm on. Or is that it right there? I can't tell. Hey! Is hey. That guy is trapped! Yeah, we will definitely help him out. Everybody, I can. Thanks, kid. You okay? Once I get the hell out of here, I've been hauling loads for way too long in this shit old town. I can't imagine Max has that much upper body strength, but apparently it was enough. Not Evan. I have to stop him from getting hurt. Oh, for goodness sake, who's Evan? I don't even remember who flipping Evan is. Evan! No, Evan! Evan! Oh, screw it. I... Who even was Evan? That's fine. If it was Alyssa, maybe I would. But, nah, it's fine. Let's just go this way. Screw everyone outside who's not me. I'm about to abort this timeline anyway. You're all going to be fine. Fuse box. Use that for some reason. Oh, I just electrocuted a man to death. Um, okay, maybe I should not do that then. Let's see if we can avoid murder. That way's blocked off by fire. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Fisherman. Oh, wait, hang on. No! Wait a minute. I've got time travel powers. Now we just go back in time to before- Don't forget you've got time travel powers. That's really important. Right. You. Stop being catatonic or electrocuted. Am I allowed to walk there? I'm not sure. No, no I'm not. Ah, now I can use the fuse box through the window. That turns off the fire and hopefully doesn't electrocute him. Good, good. I need to stop helping people who are going to be in a timeline that's about to not exist anyway. I really need to prioritise this. There we go. There's the diner. Oh, where's the entrance? Is there? There's one of the entrances this side, isn't there? Yes, there is. That's fine. Right, hello. That's Warren in the window, I think. I think I saw Warren there. Oh! Right, okay. Luckily, I can time teleport forward, so that's okay. Wait, hang on. Warren? Why can't I not... Sa use the sand for sanding something. Make that yes. ground slightly less slippery. Oh, it was to it was to stop a flow of oil that would blow everything up, I see. Okay, don't worry, I've saved you all. As I pretty much constantly bloody do. Damn, this is blocked off. Now I have to find another way into the diner. If only there was some sort of clear, easily shatterable material I could break to enter. Here we go, back door. But first, homeless person. I think this is someone I missed in episode two. Is he gone? I should have warned her. 
What warned her about what? When? I never spoke to her at all. I completely forgot. I didn't even realize she was there during a previous episode, but she's dead now. Hello, Warren. Oh, there's Frank. Frank is my friend now. Frank will help me if I need it. Oh, Jesus. I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Give me the photo. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. Okay, Warren, it sounds like you've been doing something pretty noble and heroic. Well done. How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. After the moon divided into it, it was obvious there was about to be a time apocalypse. But I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. I will do, but first I just want to check in on Frank. Did we- wait, in this- in no, this no. sequence of events, are we friends with Frank? Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, are me and you friends? I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Yeah, about her, she's dead. Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Dead, dead, dead. Rachel is... I'm sorry, but Rachel is dead. We're going to be honest with you. Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so... I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson has this creepy photo torture room and we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students Prescott fuck fuck I knew it I should never have hooked up with that sick punk Papadou hated him yeah you saw you saw Rachel well kind of we saw a kind of slightly weird low resolution blue thing in the ground I think Yes. I wish I did it. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? Overdose. Oh no, because it's your fault. He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is... If I sold it to him, I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel, oh God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. Oh, I know. It's okay, Frank. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. It's a horrible thing for him to have to confront, but I think it's the best way that he knows that. Because on the off chance we are stuck in this timeline and we can't get out of this timeline then, in this timeline, Frank is hopefully less likely to... He'll probably kind of give up his life of being a drug dealer and find something better to do with his life because of what happened and how his own drug dealing caused the death of Rachel. I would imagine that will be what happens. We can't get around to this guy, whoever... Who is that guy down there? 
I don't recognize him, whoever that guy is. So we've got, oh, Pompidou, I'm going to give you a stroke. At least Frank still has Pompidou at his side. I really hope Pompidou doesn't turn out to be the one behind the tornado, because I have saved Pompidou twice at this point. Right, Warren, need that photo, please. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? Um, I probably started the storm, actually. I, I think that the storm started... Everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max... Not only the storm, but the eclipse, the birds, the whales, everything. I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Give me the photo. Oh, thank God. You know, you didn't actually mention that you could travel into photos. You just said you could rewind time. You never actually explained to him why you cheated the photo. You failed to mention the uh, the photo thing. Right, let's focus on the photo. You get a hug. I'm not. I'm, you're not getting a kiss. All right. I'm sorry, Warren. I'm just not that into you. But you get a hug. I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. You get a hug. That's fine. You get a friendly hug. You don't get a kiss. All right. I'm sorry, Warren. I'm just not. I'm not into you. I'm a bit worried that you just seem a little bit psychotic. And that's a bit of a creepy face, too. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. Oh, uh, don't make promises you can't keep. There we go. That's it. Once you get the hang of it, just go to the point of the flash with A and D and then just use the mouse buttons to find the right spot. It's actually pretty easy once you know how to do it, but it's really fiddly when you don't. Oh, time's not looking happy with us. <sighs> Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? Why would Chloe not immediately think, oh, you just traveled back in time, didn't you? I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. Tell her you just traveled back in time. To Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait. Listen. I can walk and listen, okay? I walk just traveled back in time. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you and others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Now, excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? No! You utter lunatic! I've just told you I've traveled back from the feud. She deserves to die. God damn you, Chloe. I've just told you I've come back from the future with knowledge from the future and you don't believe it? You don't believe the time traveller from the future? You utter, utter lunatic? Maybe if I tell her Nathan is dead, she'll calm down. He's dead and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Time travel! Please tell me exactly what happened. Please. Jefferson killed him. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and... He killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! 
Oh, for God's sakes, Chloe. So, okay, this time let's go down a different route. Let's go down, it's too dangerous. Chloe, you can't get revenge if you're dead. It doesn't matter. I have to make Nathan pay for what he did to Rachel. And I know you've got my back. No, I don't. Okay, let's go down the Nathan is dead route again. Now, this time, let's talk about how Jefferson hurt me. Maybe the fact that Chloe's fond of Max will make her chill out a bit. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Oh, oops. Um, nothing. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Um, uh, terrible choice. Uh, terrible choice. Chloe, I'm... I'm gonna tell you the truth, no matter what. I changed your past, and I... I, I had to make a terrible choice, and I... I... Max, please tell me. I won't be mad at you. You will when you realized I condemned your dad to die again. To the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to end your life. And I did. For you, I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Look, David, David saved me, okay? He saved me. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. Oh, thank goodness. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen. In a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? Wait, what? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Wait, hang on, what? I'm suddenly confused. So that doesn't happen anymore, but why Why will I not know what's happened? 
That already didn't happen. Okay. So this... Okay, so we did go to him, and the police went and arrested Jefferson. Jefferson has been arrested. And then the storm. The storm's still happening. Oh, Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So how was your time trip, dude? Oh, because I don't remember what happened during the alternate timeline. I see. You're alive, oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. Worked, it actually worked. Um, there's, there's a time nado. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So, without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. Do you know she's buried in a junkyard? I don't know if you know that in this reality. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Chloe. Oh, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing so hot. I've I've done to Oh no, not what? Oh, the time undid the time and now the time's untimed the time. Oh god, but this time the poly world evolved into Polly Toad. And he's way worse than Polly Wrath. Diane Arbus. Be calm and don't freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces. Uh, wait, what? I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on? The guys the birds, the birds are... Guys! Guys, the birds! Guys! Oh, flip the time. And, and there's blood all over that desk to, to the right of me. Totally fucked up time. There's blood. There's blood. There's blood. Why is there blood there? There's blood where Kate was sitting, which is deeply worrying. Oh, what the... What... Kate's dead ahead of time? What's in the paper ball? The bullying note. Not yet, you bastard. Oh, it probably does. Holy shit. Look at all these dead birds. That's a lot of dead birds. Uh, this can't be real. Oh, I've I've untimed the time too much. And now the right. Okay, I'm actually a bit nervous all of a sudden. You know what? I think we're going to leave this episode here. <laughs> Yeah, this is the perfect time to leave off the episode. This is absolutely perfect. Um, so, unfortunately, I've timed too much time and everything's wrong. And what's on this computer? And that's a photo from the vault. Because all of time has sort of merged together in one moment in the school. And 
I think that's bad because time probably ought to not all be in one place, but time is instead all in one place place yes i think we will pick up more of this tomorrow potentially the finale but yes first we've got to figure out how badly i've just messed up time but in the meantime ladies and gentlemen i've been john this has been many a true nerd and this has been more of life is strange polarized thank you very much and goodbye okay now i don't want to be insensitive right now but the best thing you can do is stamp on her head until it's much get the gun no 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 do not just walk past the gun Oh, yeah, the door with the bloody handprint on it. That's gonna go well. Eleanor, come on. Eleanor! Where the hell are you? Oh, God, you're the worst person ever.